Hello everybody and welcome to another Last Day on Earth news slash review style video. Today we're going to be going over whether Season 6 was good or bad, and to do that we'll separate it into three different subcategories, the Season Pass Rewards, the Season Pass Tasks, and the Seasonal Events. Before we get into the main body of the video, I want to talk about something I've been considering for a while now. I'm looking to expand my channel. As you can see, the name has changed from Shade to Gaming News and Guides, as well as the intro and the outro, and I would love to find another person to join me in creating news and guide videos for this channel, and not only covering Last Day on Earth. So if you are interested, then either comment below or join my Discord and send me a message. There's a link in the description of the video. And back to the video. Season Pass Rewards. Now straight away we fall into the same pitfalls in the rewards we've seen in the other seasons, and that is getting single pieces of armour sets per level, and part stacks of items. What I mean by this is it takes four levels to get the entire radiation set. Now luckily this is level 6 to 9, so they are still quite cheap in terms of points to get, but to me it still feels a bit redundant, especially since this is in the free version of the pass. I feel like it'd be better to give entire sets in one or two levels instead of spread out over four. What I meant for the part stacks are things like level 14 which gives five cogs and level 17 which gives five rubber. Neither of these items would be devalued if they were given as a full stack of 20 and I personally don't feel like it was worth completing the task to get those rewards. Overall, however, I have to admit that the rewards for this season's free and premium passes are easily the best that we have seen in the game so far, especially as it gives a good amount of radiation protection gear and ATV parts. The main change I would have made would be to increase the amount of carbon composite as well as add in some factory parts as these are now very hard to get in the game. So for the season pass rewards, it's getting a plus. Season pass tasks. The tasks again are falling victim to the same problems as the previous seasons, in that the season pass is impossible to complete to max level if you miss a single daily task. The developers have done this to encourage people to play the game daily, however I think they're going about it the wrong way. Instead of punishing players who don't play daily, they should be rewarding those that do. For example, they could have small daily events that pop up throughout the season which give some good items or are fun to partake in. The main weekly tasks for this season are, as to be expected, relatively difficult and will take a fair few resources to complete. However, they are much improved from what we have seen in previous seasons and for the most part they were things you would be doing anyway whilst participating in the seasonal event. All of this, however, does not change the fact that the daily tasks are punishing players, so the season pass tasks are a fail for me. Seasonal events. Surprisingly for me, this season's events were actually very well constructed and highly enjoyable. We had the settlement where we could interact with an NPC village to complete some tasks for them and earn extra rewards, and the main location they sent you to did not require any energy to travel to, as you could get there direct through the tunnels. However, the interaction here with the NPCs was just reusing an old system we have seen in the game multiple times already, in which we give them mountains of items to earn the minimal rewards. For this reason, I only completed the reputation for Chuck and Harry, as the prizes for Vivian and Casey did not seem worth the cost, as they were mostly common slash not too useful items. All of that being said, they did offer skins, so if you're an achievement hunter and wanted to collect all of the skins in the game, then I'm sure Casey and Vivian were more than worth the time and resources to complete. There was, however, a major bug with one of Casey's tasks, in which you had to let his pet bear, Baloo, die, and then kill the wild bear in order to complete the task, which will have stopped people from being able to complete the Casey line of tasks and getting the final three rewards from him. Overall, I'm giving the season events a pass as well for the new content and the well thought out design. Which means that of the three categories, rewards, tasks and events, only the tasks failed, giving a final score of two passes and a fail. Which means in my eyes that season 6 was good. Don't get me wrong, there's still a ways to go for Kefir to make the seasons perfect, but they are well on their way. Please do leave your feedback about Season 6 in the comments below and let me know of any other content you would like to see reviewed in this format or have guides made for. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.